Hi guys, how are you doing and welcome to another Warlord Wednesday and today we have a game, a battle rep for you. We are playing uh, the British Airborne versus the German SS. Now, um, I'm overseeing this, I'm your compare for tonight's game um, and jo uh, my good friend Kev will be playing his powers uh, or his British Airborne and Matt's going to be playing the German. So what has he got here? Well, he has a 500 point army, uh, the one that you can buy from Warlord Games. Uh, it comes with a second lieutenant and two extra paratroopers. Uh, it has an airborne section of five men with uh, two SMGs and an LMG. Uh, another section with uh, two, S uh, two, S two SMGs, a Vickers MMG, a Piet team, a 75mm light pack howitzer and a two inch light mortar team. Uh, and all of that comes to 492 points. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how he plays out against uh, a German army as a first-time player. It's a beautifully painted uh, uh, Marie, uh, airborne force. It looks absolutely astonishing. Let's check how many points it comes up to. Uh, survey says 492. I wrote 500. Okay, so let's look at Matt's Germans. Uh, he has his SS here. Um, he has a second lieutenant, which is a veteran, two uh, two men to go with him, a medic, Kriegsmarines, which aren't on the table with an LMG, a mortar, uh, an SS with uh, LMG, SMG, and another SS squad with two SMGs. Um, uh, two assault rifles and a Panzer uh, Faust. Now, this is going to be interesting. Matt's now our only season player, uh, considering he's played now two games. So uh, we take him down as, as our most seasoned player. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how he plays this out. Um, now, you've, obviously, you'll notice that the crease moons aren't on the table, uh, but we've got to put them on while filming this little section just here. Uh, so... Today's quite a big day, so I just want to thank everybody for all the great comments for us, uh, from us, or for us, sorry, I should say. Uh, and let's just check out how many points uh, our good friend has spent before we see to see who deploys. Let's see who goes first. And it's the Germans to deploy. In the warehouse, we have an SS squad um, with an LMG. In the next building, we have another SS squad. Uh, in the next building, we have a medic. Uh, in the next building, we have the Kriegsmarines. And at the far end building, we have the commanding officer. And in the garden, the mortar squad. Uh, the mortar team, I should say. Okay, so what have the British got? Down the bottom, we have a lieutenant and two uh, vets. We have a five-man squad. We have a Piet team. Uh, we have a Vickers light machine gun. Uh, we got to the top. We've got another five-man squad. We've got a mortar, light mortar, and also we've got our howitzer. So this is going to be kind of cool. Let's see who gets the first dice. Okay, so it's Kev with the first dice, and so it's the British to go first. He's now going to aim up on the mortar section uh, that's in the garden and ruin somebody's shrubbery. He fires. And unfortunately for Kev, he doesn't kill anybody, but he does place a pin, which is a real shame. Uh, good luck, Kev. Uh, now Matt gets the dice, the Germans. He eyes up. Uh, he lines up his uh, mortar. And he's going to shoot at the Vickers. Here we go. And he hits. And he kills one man and manages the pin. Good going. Well done, Matt. Okay, now we're back to Kev. So we can see the pin marker down there. Kev's deciding to use his howitzer. Uh, he knows that there's some SS in the building by the warehouse, so he's going to take a pot shot at them. There we go. Finger of pointy doom. And he's getting ready to fire. Oh my god, he fires. We can hear the shattering glass, but unfortunately he doesn't kill anybody, but he does manage to pin the unit in the inside. Crying shame. Crying shame. So let's see how uh, who gets the next dice. 
And it's Matt. Matt has the next dice, so he's looking at his Krieg Marines, uh, and he wants to take out the uh, the Vickers. There it is. So he's just lining the shot up. Here we go. Very exciting moment. And he hits, and he kills the Vickers team. So the Vickers machine gun has been taken off. Now we're back down to, to um, Kev. He's now going to move uh, his uh, uh, section, airborne section, around the back of the um, train station. Let's see how he does here. This is all very exciting. So he's moving it just around the back. Now his objective is most probably to start shooting at the mortar. Uh, he has an LMG and, he, and he's ready for action. So let's see what happens. Very nervous, very tense. He's lining up the shot. He's thinking about what he's going to do. Here we go. Fortunately for Kev, he's rolling really badly today, but he does manage to pin it. Gain that has two pins on it. Let's see who goes next. Okay, Matt's got the dice. He's going to use his SS that are in that building to fire on the howitzer. Here we go. Very exciting. He's going to line up the shot. Just make sure that he's in range, which is all fair. And here we go. And he fires, he pins it, and also he kills one man. Very exciting. Well done, Matt. And let's see who goes next. Uh, here we go. It's Kev. He's running his uh, section around the back of the power station. Uh, let's see what happens here. He's just running. That's all he's going to do. He's playing it nice and safe. He's moving to the warehouse. Okay, Matt again is going to open up. He's got his uh, SS are going to shoot at the howitzer. And they miss. This is a crying shame for Matt. Like I said, season player. Okay, so Kev now is running. Uh, his officer and his two vets with him. And he's going to move his Piat team, advance forward, and he's going to take a pot shot at the building with the SSR. And he fires! And unfortunately, it's a miss for them. Okay. It's now down to uh, Matt. He brings his commander out of the building. He runs him out of the building. Uh, Matt's got the dice again. He's now moving his medic out of the building and into the garden. Uh, that way he's nice and safe. Okay, the power's now advancing. They're getting ready to move forward. And I've got a feeling that they're going to open up in the building inside where the troops are. All very exciting. He fires, but unfortunately he doesn't kill anybody, but he manages to pin them. Okay, we're now turning into turn two. It's Matt with the dice. Now Matt's going to... He's taking a think of what he's going to do. He's going to advance to charge. But he fails the leadership roll, and they go down. Which gives Kev the reaction roll to shoot back. And he kills two uh, men and uh, pins places another pin on top of them so they're starting to go okay it's the Germans again they're going to fire a mortar and he fails the roll which is a crying shame doesn't even go off okay so now we have the German again the Kriegsmarines are going to open up on the Piet team They fire and they kill them outright. So we lose a Piet team. Okay, so the mortar. Uh, here we go again. The mortar is going to take a shot. And he's going to be shooting the other mortar. And he fires. And again, he doesn't do any damage whatsoever. But he does place a pin on him. So it's now up to three pins. 
Okay, so the commanding German officer runs to the train station. Bold move by Matt. Uh, Matt's lining up a shot and he's going to shoot at the Haritzer again. Oh, what a crying shame. He completely misses, but he places another pin on the marker, on the on the uh, howitzer. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, Kev's now advanced around the corner. I know what he's going to do here. He's going for the commanding officer. A really bolshy move on Kev's part. Let's see how his dice rolls go. There we go. And he kills one man, and he gets to choose, and it's the commander, and they're pinned. Okay, Kev gets the dice again. He now moves his command section around to the side of the building. I know what he's going to do here. He's going to open up. And he manages to kill one man. And places another pin. So I think these are up to four pins now. Unfortunately, I only put three down. They should be up to four around about now. Okay, so it's the Germans. He's moving the medic into the safety of the building. He feels that they're going to need it. Uh, with uh, Kev moving up the side. Okay, it's Kev again. He's now going to fire his howitzer. Uh, and let's see how that goes. Come on, Kev. And he fires. Killing two, but the medic saves uh, one of them, so it's only one man dead. That's a real shame. But he does place another marker there, so he's got another um, uh, marker on top of him, another pinner. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. What's he going to do? He's going to be shooting into the guys in the inside. And he fires. So we're now on turn three, by the way. Uh, he fires um, and he does uh, no kills, but manages to pin him again. And Kev takes another shot. He gets the dice again. This time he's shooting the, um, the two guys that are there. And he manages to kill one. Okay, so out come the Kriegsmarines. Here we go. This is what we knew this was going to happen. They're coming out now. Uh, this is a very, very feisty game indeed. They're going to be shooting at the squad at the top, the British squad at the top. Let's see how this goes. And he kills at least, I think it is, uh, two men. And manages to pin them, which is a real shame. He gets the dice again. Uh, and now he's going to use his one man that's there and take a pot shot. He fails the roll. And he is down. Unfortunately, the man is down. The man goes to ground. That's a real shame. Very bolshy move, though, by Matt. Okay, so the guys in the building... They've got the dice again. The Germans have the dice. They're going to shoot at the howitzer. And he pins it again. It's now pinned for three. Which is a crying shame for the paras. Okay, let's see who gets the next dice. Okay, this looks like a Kev move here. Uh, he's advancing his uh, command team forward. He's uh, lining up. And he opens fire into the building. Uh, and unfortunately he misses, but he does lay down a pin. So they're now at five. Okay, so we're now moving on to turn four. This is a great game. Lots of tension here. Okay, turn four. Uh, and it's the uh, uh, Paras to go first. They're going to shoot at that one guy again because Kev just wants to get rid of him. That's fair enough. And they miss. Unfortunately, they miss. But he is pinned again. He gains another pin marker, which is a real shame. Let's hope he can do better in his next go. Uh, 
Okay, so Matt's looking at the battlefield. He's going to choose his Kriegs Marines. And he's going to finish off the squad at the top there. You can see him pointing. Uh, but he decides to charge. Kev gets the reaction shot. He fires. They charge in. And he manages to kill, I think, at least three of them. No, he kills all of them. And then he moves and consolidates around the side. Now it's the mortar's turn. Uh, what's he going to do with the mortar? Nothing at all. Okay. Oh, he's going to fire at the Harissa. Here we go. And he misses by a long shot, which is a real shame. Okay. So it's now down to the powers. What can they do to change this battlefield, this battle for them, for the win? Okay, the mortar's going to fire. He's aiming up. He's going to fire that squad. Not bad. It kills three men and pins them. So that's another pin on them. Okay, now the Germans have the dice. They've advanced out of the building. Here we go. What are they going to do? They've advanced out of the building. They're going to open up on the command squad. And they manage to kill one man, but they do pin them. This is a tight, tense game. Here we go. He has the dice. He manages to make a leadership roll. And he does a run. Right in between the Hoitza and the Mortar. This is going to be interesting. Okay. There's the target. Kev's going to fire. Um, and he goes. Uh, he kills three men. And places a marker down. Okay. Kev has the... Uh, the dice again. He is advancing forward. Yeah, here we go, Kev. Go on. Get in there. Let's see what he does. He fires. He misses, but he does place another pin. Uh, this is getting tense now. Uh, now, the medic, uh, I feel, is uh, moving into uh, the building. And what we're going to do here? Okay, Kev. He's eyeing it all up. He's getting ready, uh, and he's going to fire at that lone squad or those couple of men just there. Let's see what he does. And he misses again, but he does manage to place a pin marker on the top. Now, this is really uh, worrying for Kev. Now, it's turn. We're now on to turn five. It's coming to the end of the game. Um, the Paras have the dice. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, or is it the Germans have the dice? I don't know. No. Germans have the dice. They fire. Uh, they fire and uh, they take out the howitzer and they consolidate up by the mortar. Kev advances and opens fire. And I think actually advances and charges to be fair. Uh, killing one man and uh, he consolidates, I think he just kills them all. He consolidates four inches uh, to the right. Uh, sorry, I got distracted there. My phone was buzzing. Um, and uh, it's interesting to see what's going to happen now. What do we got? Okay, so the squad that's up there is going to try and charge, I do feel. Uh, but they fail. Um, yep, they definitely failed. And they go down. This is not going well. So the clear winner today happens to be the... 
SS. Now, that was a fantastic game. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got to say congratulations to Matt. He's the second time winner now. Uh, he's so much better than us. It's unbelievable. So, guys, you be good. You be safe. And I'm going to see you very, very soon. You take care.